of an evergreen problem. So I'm speaking about climate change. So some variant of climate change is usually a fixture when it comes to VAT. So it could be around, uh, you know, something really specific like COP26, 27, uh, what can be done, what India can do uh, around green hydrogen or reducing carbon emissions or something like that. So rather than going too specific, let's look at something like climate change in general. And uh, you can also adapt this if you have a more specific topic. So if the idea is to minimize climate change. Here the first thing which I would do rather than jumping into solutions is to think of what causes climate change. It sounds very simple uh, and you know something which I'm sure will occur to all of you. So the first thing of course is when it comes to fuel, right? So any form of fossil fuel, uh, this is going to lead to pollution and this is also something which is not sustainable right it's we don't have too much of it the main thing is of course the pollution and the heat and so on right the co2 uh, again when i look at fuel uh, i can also split it into categories like you know aircraft or aviation so splitting it into categories like these will actually help me to come up with solutions uh, then we have uh, you know your uh, buses lorries trucks and all of that uh, we have private vehicles So cars, two wheelers and so on. Again, we can't be very unbalanced and say that, oh, let's ban everything or, you know, let's increase taxes by 100% or something like that. We have to also look at reasonable solutions which will fly. We could also have like, you know, a stage solution like step one, step two, step three, something like that. So for example, you know, uh, instead, of we, instead of saying that let's ban fossil fuels, what we can say is uh, vehicles, maybe, you know, they need to have all the PUC certificate and all of that. And also, you know, we should have only uh, vehicles which are five years old or seven years old or something like that. And then slowly we move to electric vehicles. So something like that would make sense. Uh, another thing which is there is, you know, food, a uh, slightly controversial topic, especially non-veg food, right? Uh, or even, you know, food which is not local, right, which is imported. So which is imported means it's traveling a great distance. Uh, and when we are looking at non-veg food, again, the emissions are on the higher side. It's something which is also there when you look at foods like rice and all. But this is where you have a major chunk between these two areas, right? Uh, another one which I would want to address is, you know, something like apparel or fashion, or you can even look at it as the overall, you know, e-commerce because, you know, there's a lot of packages, a lot of it is, you know, in plastic and all of that, which keeps coming up. Uh, also things like, you know, very basic things like, you know, a lot of food packets, Coke bottles, these are the sort of things where, you know, you have a lot of plastic. So in fact, rather than shopping, I could just call it, you know, something like consumption or something like that, where you have a lot of, let me probably write it in a better way, plastic right uh, e-commerce the travel itself and all uh, probably in a way it's better if you have one let's say an amazon delivery guy going around and delivering rather than all of us individually going to you know stores or the mall and all that buying so there is something to that the packaging definitely i think is something which can be shifted from plastic to uh, maybe you know paper or other compostable and you know material uh, the other thing of course when it comes to fashion especially fast fashion so you know, the availability of cheap clothes now, uh, a lot of them, uh, the ones which are made with cotton, uh, you know, these are things where a lot of water is wasted, a lot of, you know, chemicals used in the bleaching and all of that and all is there. Then, you know, when you have your artificial or synthetic clothes, which are generally made of, you know, petroleum uh, derivatives and all of that. So those are, again, very harmful to the environment when they're washed and all of that. Uh, but the bigger issue is because these are things which are so cheaply available and it's become so much more convenient to just pull out your phone and, you know, order. And uh, we tend to keep buying, we keep returning, and then, you know, we keep buying more and more uh, consistently, right? as opposed to, let's say, uh, 10 or 20 or, you know, 30, 40 years back when uh, people maybe, you know, bought clothes a few times a year. So that, that consistent buying, again, is something uh, especially with fast fashion which is comparatively cheaper so that again is something which is there right so another one I mean packages plastic I would also you know add maybe things like straws and you know all of that already the government has done some bit around this uh, the main one to tackle would of course be this one uh, one more thing which I would want to write about here is forests right so chopping off a forest what was happening in uh, you know in the Amazon rainforest under the earlier government in Brazil and just in general right the fact that you know the now 8 billion people where to house them how to feed them so a lot of forests have been cropped and you know now it's like you know a lot of deforestation because we want agricultural land or grazing lands for cows and sheep and goats and so on and so forth so that's another thing where the trees were obviously you know absorbing co2 now that is not happening so now that we have the problems the we can have solutions so the first here of course you know when it comes to aircraft we can minimize traveling 
so slow travel uh, maybe you know buying locally uh, reduce shipping and you know airlines and all of that not just people traveling but also packages and all of that that would be one thing to consider uh, solutions here of course are things like evs so i could speak about maybe you know government subsidies uh, or let's say you know investors investing in evs perhaps activist investors or sustainable funds and all of that to raise the investment so that there's a lot more uh, you know capital available uh, to companies which want to dabble in this area also things like you know charging stations and all we've in india uh, gone more like you know the battery exchanging it but you know a charging station network is again something which will make a lot of sense uh, another thing of course is public transport uh, especially uh, you know when we see so many cars with just one person uh, carpooling or public transport these are things which would definitely help and uh, generating awareness about all of these whether it is in schools or colleges or perhaps you know politicians uh, pers media personalities uh, sports people movie stars all of them speaking up so that you know people know about it and think about it and talk about it probably we need like you know 10 or 20 greta thunbergs to talk about these things more and more so these would sort of be the solutions that i would come up with food again you know having more local food would definitely be key uh, but again uh, here, to compel people to not have non-veg would not be a solution i would not go for it in a vat uh, but something like you know let's say uh, trying to have alternatives or uh, even looking at you know uh, solutions like you know hydroponics and all of that to ensure that deforestation is something which is minimized because of you know grazing lands or you know agriculture and all of that right so new technologies over here would definitely help here again a more minimalistic thing uh, sort of going back to uh, maybe buying less good quality stuff as well as you know more short term solutions like compostable packaging and you know like plastic straws are banned in India now so things like that and all of course it does beg the question that you know paper straws again we're chopping trees down for it so uh, maybe you know uh, slightly more sustainable solutions would make more sense over here as well again to just blindly say that oh let's like you know uh, tax these or things like that would not make sense uh, perhaps you know governments and large companies can work together so amazon for example has pledged to be you know net zero though the timeline is longer uh, that's true for india as well we wanted extra time uh, because coal is one of the largest sources of energy and it, it's not possible to just minimize it right away so knowing some of these and having a more balanced view but at the same time you know coming up with uh, solutions uh, starting out now and perhaps you know being more aggressive with time is something which is the need of the art. So this is the way that you can think before you actually write your VAT. Now, if it is an online one, you can actually probably use pen and paper and write these out the way I have. Uh, if it's an on offline VAT and you know, you're know you not getting any extra paper, uh, what I would recommend you do, you can't write so much of course, but uh, let's say that, you know, uh, let me just use this let's say this is the first side of your paper and this is the second side and you know you're starting writing over here this is the second side of course you can write both sides typically if they allow you to write only on one side you can just you know use the entire thing for rough work and just use it to come up with ideas if you are allowed to use uh, both sides uh, what i would recommend and this is something which has generally worked with all of our students just you know leave a little bit of space for rough work and then what you can do is you can just have like you know small pointers so the same thing which i mentioned we can just write fossil fuels shopping food and then just you know the points out here and then the solutions can sort of be in your mind and you can really refer to these while writing and it'll also help you to plan out that okay my intro has to be somewhere around this much and then you know the first thing i'm going to talk about is like let's say fossil fuels and the next thing is around food and deforestation and then you know the third one and so on and so forth that again is something which is helpful so it's perfectly fine to do this uh we've had many students do this and uh, while obviously the marks may not be disclosed but uh, we've not had anybody question and i think you will find that the uh, the impact that it has on helping you really structure and write a good back which showcases you as you know somebody who has structured thinking problem solving critical reasoning and so on will be far more uh, last thing in the description uh, we're going to include a page where you know there are a few bats which we have written uh, different topics different word limits to help you out uh, so you can check that uh, do check out the video on this at essay in case if you haven't watched that uh, the exact writing style and all you'll find over there so hopefully that's helpful and all the best to you from everyone here at mocap